Welcome as I embark on both Royal Caribbean and Virgin Voyages. You'll see alternating scenes of my recent cruises on each cruise line for comparison. These cruise lines are so different from the initial welcome to the sail away party to fitness to dining and entertainment. Hey, hoy. Hey, hoy. You have to be time for your mother. Hello, hey, welcome, welcome thank you. <laughs> now, I actually prefer the CPAS card on Royal Caribbean versus the wearable Virgin Voyages bracelet. Didn't always work, but it makes a great souvenir. I hope you find this video entertaining and informative. And if you'd like to catch up on the actual cruises, please check out my YouTube channel at Rick's Trips. And as always, if you like it, please smash the thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you. Both cruise lines have running or jogging or walking paths. And depending on the Royal Caribbean ship, you're going to be walking through pedestrians and chairs. However, Virgin Voyages walking track and running track, no obstacles at all. Every cruise line has their safety videos. Rural Caribbeans is meant for families, and Virgin Voyages is pretty wild. Which would you watch? Now, I've got some important safety information that I must tell you. You Virgin Voyages doesn't have a normal buffet like uh, Royal Caribbean and most cruise lines do. They have what's called a galley. It's set up for sit-down service, but most people actually go up and ask for what they want, and it's given to them by the servers. There's also a grab-and-go area. Pretty cool. One thing I love about Royal Caribbean is the military appreciation days. I didn't see any on Virgin Voyages.
Like a lot of cruise lines, Royal Caribbean has Broadway style shows that come from Broadway and go on the ship. Virgin Voyage's dual reality was actually invented and created on the ship and now is being produced on land, I guess on Broadway. Competition without having a good old fashioned lip sync snow down. You got it? No, not that's the wrong way. Traditional cruise pina colada. Just know you have to pay for that floater on Virgin. I never had to on Royal Caribbean. As you can see, there's a lot of differences between Virgin Voyages and Royal Caribbean and probably most every other cruise line out there. I'm not really sure if I like one brand over the other brand. I uh, guess it depends on my mood. They're both completely different. Which one do you think you'd prefer? I know I prefer to keep going on both of them and any other cruise line that's out there. Keep watching. Please subscribe.